Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is good way to count number of set bits I mean number of ones present in binary bit in some variable using C and C++ okay so this is the example there are two ways I mean I have included two ways only there are lots of ways this is the simple way first we will see the simple way here and uh, the way is you will be iterating over number so this is your number this is I'm assigning with 7 so if you don't know I mean you might be knowing that this is the binary presentation of this 7 okay there are 3 1 so we want 3 as output because we are looking for how many 1 is there in that number in this variable okay so we'll loop through that number so so first of all this number is 7 so it is not 0 so it will go inside this loop and what we are doing later on we are just doing the and operation with one which means we are doing something like this we have this bit representation which, which is seven so this is seven here we will be doing and with one so this is one so seven and with one we will end up getting one only so this will be the output so you are getting one as output here and then you are adding that one to the count so initially the count is 0 so it will become 1 now now you are doing this right shift by 1 so this number will get right shifted so it will look something like this after getting right shift it will look like this so this whole thing will get shifted right side okay this side and this last bit will go off okay and at fourth position zero will come so this is the result of this statement here okay after that you will do again this checking is this number is zero no it is not zero that means we'll again come inside and you will do that operation again what you will do you will do the and operation with this one so again one will be the output you can see one into one one will come and 1 and 0, 0 will come 0, 0, 0, 0. So the result will be this only. Okay. So again that 1 will get added to count. So this time it became 2. Again you will do this number with right shift. Then you will get this number. Okay. You will get this number. Now again you will do the AND operation with this. So AND with 1 will produce the same output like if you will do the and with this one again then you will get the same thing so one you will again end up adding one to the count so you counted up to three now and now if you will do again one right shift it will become zero so this one will go off then it will become zero and you will come out from loop because of this condition okay so if you will print it will print three so we'll check that Oh, I'll forget to remove this we can just see now check yeah see this count is getting as 3 this is the simple way okay it will take so many iterations to complete that but there is one good way to achieve and that is called brain Cunningham way okay and we'll see how this will work so I have commented out everything I'll just make sure it is working correctly yeah 3 if you notice here we are again iterating only but this time you are going to iterate number of times 1 is present in this okay so you will always be iterating that many time how many ones are there in that number okay so this number is having 7 so 7 has 4 set bits so sorry 3 set bits then this loop will iterate 3 times only let's say if you would have assigned 15 which makes this as 4 times 1 then this loop will go 4 times only okay so this is the beauty of this this runs very faster there is another algorithm I mean there is something called table lookup which gives you order of 1 I am not explaining that because that is little tedious and no one asks that table lookup technique in interviews okay so I will explain how this will work initially your count is 0 now you will come inside by checking this number is non non zero yes it is seven it is non zero then you will come inside and you will do and operation of that number with the minus of itself so how this will look like it is looking like this zero one 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 and then and of minus one will be 
zero double one zero. So this is looking like this. So if you will see here, by doing this and operation, you will again get six only, like this one. Okay. So you are assigning six to that number. So now that number has become six. Okay. And it will increment again, and then it will check number is non-zero. Yes, it is non-zero because it is six. It will again come, and this time it will do something like this. Like zero double one zero, and this time you have done minus one, so it will cause zero one zero one. So this has become five. So the answer of this one will be one into zero 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 into one zero one into one one. So the answer will be zero one double zero. Okay. So this is nothing but four here. So now four will go here. I mean you will check with the four, and before that you will increment this count, and next time. The four will come, so you will do this with four, and and the minus one, which is causing it to become three. So this is how three look like, and the answer to this one would be zero 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 zero. Okay. Now this time you will increment the count, which will make this count three, and then you will come to check whether number is zero or not. It is zero. Then your for loop will terminate, and you will print that. So we will see how it is printing we have actually already saw that so it is printing 3 so this is how we count the number of set bits in variable i'm done here thanks for watching and check out my other videos so that you will get so many interesting videos on c++ thanks for watching bye bye